Hi, I'm Erin from Erin Reads, back this week after a couple of weeks of not vlogging. Um, I don't have much to show you this week, um, but I did want to get a vlog done because otherwise I will just get out of the habit and they will stop happening. Um, so I just have two books to show you this week. The first one is a review copy from uh, Library Things Early Reviewers program. Um, it was actually published earlier this month. It's Made called for You and Me, Going West, Going Broke, Finding Home, a memoir by Caitlin Shutterly. And this um, one is about a young married couple who moved from East Coast to West and then ended up moving back to the East Coast um, on not a lot of money. And um, on the way, the return trip back East, um, she did uh, some radio diaries for NPR's Weekend Edition um, and did some blogging and had a lot of NPR listeners um, helping them out along the way. Um, so I do like memoirs. I've been trying to read more of them this year and this um, should be one that I get to soon since it's for a library thing. Um, and um, it should be interesting. The other one that I got um, is from the library. It's The Crying of Lot 49 by Thomas Pynchon. Um, I've never read anything by Pynchon. I've always been kind of scared, felt like I should start with Gravity's Rainbow and been sort of uh, horribly intimidated by it. Um, but this one is only like 180 pages long um, and it is for a book group, which means I get to talk about it with people, which um, should be good. It's about a woman who uh, discovers that she has been made the executor of her late boyfriend's um, estate and what happens then. So it um, should be interesting. Um, and I should have that one done by April because that's when my book group is reading it. So two books um, that I'm kind of excited about that should get actually uh, sort of read sooner than a lot of the ones I show you here. Um, that's it for me this week, and I hope you had a great week. I'd love to hear about it, um, anything new that came into your home or anything um, you've been reading that you're excited about. Uh, leave me a comment or send me an email, and I hope that you enjoy your week.